everybody. Good night, good night. It's night time when I'm filming this. Um, I'm, I was actually about to go to bed, but I realized that I haven't. I've neglected my channel, and I really enjoy uploading videos. It's just a, a fun thing for me to do. It's relaxing. So, ah, all right. So as you can see in the title, I have really big news. News that I did not expect to be giving. <laughs> and I am still in shock. It still feels surreal to me. And I think that's because of how it all happened. <laughs> and I just wanted to share that story. So I'm going to split this up so that it's not super long. I wanted to share the story of how I bled for four days and then found out that I was pregnant and I think this is just to debunk uh, the myths that implantation bleeding is always light I started to believe that maybe it differs from culture to culture or like hemisphere like in the western part of the world maybe implantation bleeding can be heavy and it could be as a result of diets or the climate like I don't know I don't know I'm not I'm not a scientist I only studied biochemistry but I'm not I'm not a scientist I'm not a, a doctor or anything like that but so just I just want to share the story so stay tuned grab some popcorn or water <laughs> So you guys, you guys, like I said in my last video, I was on cycle, three, cycle number three, and this month would have made cycle number four of me and my husband trying to conceive. And this month, I tried Grampy's Fertility Cleanse. And in the Bahamas, that's where I'm from, we really like to eat meat. In general, we use bush, bush, and plants, leaves for healing properties, healing of ailments. And this company had these natural pills on sale for it was a Black Friday sale. And I said, let me just try it out. It wouldn't hurt. It was two hundred dollars. I mean, it kind of would hurt if it didn't work. But that's still less than a doctor's visit without insurance so I did that and I didn't really feel any symptoms while I was taking it body came in the package and the instructions were to take two a day until they run out and I did that I actually missed about six tablets to be honest and the only thing I noticed was like black specks coming into the toilet when I urinated TMI and I told my husband hey you know maybe that's the cyst breaking apart <laughs> just trying to be hopeful you know just trying to be hopeful about everything and so I'm gonna insert pictures of these things by the way the pictures will be more accurate than maybe what I'm saying, but I ovulated this cycle on day number 24. Well, when I say ovulated, I had a peak in my LH on day 24 of this cycle. And I felt like that was so late. I felt really discouraged by it because I look around and I see other women, they're like ovulating at cycle day um, 14 and 12 and stuff and I'm like oh my gosh why is my so late but everybody's body is different and that's something that we just have to accept so when that happened we're leading I was I was tracking my LH the entire cycle so at certain points when the numbers started to increase I was like hubby let's baby dance <laughs> And so we ended up doing that five days before the peak, I think two days before the peak and then on the day of the peak. 
So after that, I was just like, if it doesn't happen, it's whatever. I'm not trying to force baby dance. I like it to be natural and, you know, that kind of stuff. So we did that and everything was going fine. But six days after the peak, I started peeing. I was like, wait. Anyway, let me look. So I waited and it got heavier and heavier and heavier and it lasted for four days, four days. So I was like, oh my gosh, why is my period on so early? I felt so depressed. And it wasn't even so much about conception. It was more of why is my body not doing what it needs to do, what it was made to do? What did I do wrong that caused my body to behave this way? So I got over it. It was about it was almost time for Christmas and my husband and I traveled to Freeport Grand Bahama, which is still in the Bahamas, to his family for the Christmas break and I was happy about that. I felt like I needed that break. While over there, I was extremely exhausted. I was always hungry and I was nauseous I was nauseous. And I wasn't because I had that bleeding, I wasn't really symptom spotting. I was not paying attention to much. So I was just brushing everything off as okay, maybe it's just because I'm adjusting to being in a different place. <laughs> but what really made me wonder was the fact that I was falling asleep by like 8 p.m. And I was napping throughout the day. And I don't really, I, I don't ever nap. I'm not a napper. So I was, I wasn't thinking pregnancy, but I was like, wow, why am I so exhausted? And one day we went on a drive, me, my husband, and his mom, to the western side of Freeport to go to the beach and all of a sudden, I felt like I needed to throw up. And it was an urge, like to the point where I told my mother-in-law, you know, I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Thankfully, there was Vitamalt in the cooler in the car. And I had some of that, and like I breathe in, and I breathe out, and I breathe. I did some breathing exercises, and I was like, okay. So we came back home after the Christmas, and I felt weird. I... I was having cramping and it felt like ovulation but at this point I was only on cycle day nine and I was like why on earth would I be ovulating so early because normally I would ovulate on cycle day 24 or cycle day 23 that's my normal time so I say you know what let me just go to my trusted mom med kit <laughs> And I said, let me, this is crazy, but I'm going to test my LH. And I almost talked myself out of it because it felt so crazy to do. But my LH came back strong, like, strong. And I was like, wait, it is way too early for an ovulation. So my gut told me, oh, these are how the strips look. They come packaged, by the way, for those who haven't watched my previous videos. But I said, wait, maybe I need to take an a ACG test. This is how they come. And I was like, no, this doesn't make sense. You, you're doing too much. That's, <laughs> and I started to talk to myself. But I took it, and I was at like 9 p.m. <clears throat> it's the top one. You probably won't be able to see it, but a faint line came up on this. I'll insert pictures if I have pictures. A faint line came up, and I like I started to rub my eyes, and I started to like panic a bit because it was just so weird so anyway the next well at 11 p.m i did it again and there was still a line so i said okay something's happening the next morning i did it again <laughs> and there was still a line and so i went to work and i couldn't focus 
and I work at a medical center, so I felt like that would be the best place to test things out, you know, because I work in radiology. It'll be dangerous for me to to continue to do that with early pregnancy, and so I really, really needed to know. So on my lunch break that next morning, I went and I got a first response. Yo, and when I saw this line come up, I almost fainted. I hope you can see it. I almost fainted. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> and I started to feel like something was wrong with me. Like maybe I was sick. And it was just so many negative thoughts coming to me. Because I just bled for four days. Heavy bleeding with clots for four days. And so anyway, I went and I took a blood test, a beta HCG at the lab where I work. And it came back with levels of 35. So the text told me, well, yeah, it seems like you're pregnant. And it still has not sunk in. I have an appointment this week, Thursday, January 6th, to see the OBGYN, and I am so nervous about that. Like, I just, I just want good news in this regard, and it's just so, it's just a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about. But, um... The other day, this was Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday, I went back and I got another first response. And look at that. <laughs> I'm looking at it, but it still doesn't feel good. And I'm still so nervous. I'm so nervous. Let me know in the comments if you, when you first found out you're pregnant, if you just, you just, if just couldn't believe it like I didn't even cry it, it I was just so confused you know but I'm grateful don't get me wrong I am grateful that I even got two lines two dark lines that I even got um, high levels well not high but positive levels on my blood tests and <laughs> so I wanted to share that and some women, they can have heavy bleeding and still end up getting positive pregnancy tests. So, I know a lot of things out there say that implantation bleeding is always light, it's always this, but I'm going to find out and I will keep you guys updated. Um, This week, I will upload another video after I have my appointment and let you guys know what to see. Um, pray for the best. But I will keep you updated because I like to inform other people. I think this kind of information is always helpful for other women. And I would never want to keep it to myself. So, I will upload some more videos about how I surprised my husband. <laughs> and all that fun stuff. And I will continue to upload mommy content. Because I am speaking that yes, I am pregnant and this is a healthy pregnancy and we will have a healthy baby. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.